was a wonderful moment to be gathered together. Uh, in many ways, that, that gospel is like a Catholic school gospel, really calling us all to really love our kids and to be like Christ in a very special way. Uh, and imagine being in that scene. Okay, so uh, all the parents and all the grandparents, you're in it, I'm in it, and especially the super munchkins are in it. So all the little ones are in it. And imagine, they don't tell us whether it was a boy or a girl that Jesus asked to come and stand in front of them. And the question, remember adults, was who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Who's going to be the greatest? And Jesus says we need to become just like one of these little ones. Now, we'll take a moment to put ourselves in the shoes of the little one that's there with Jesus. And it's a very special moment for that one, that little one. Because he's looking at him or her with great love. And such love that the little one's eyes start sparkling. And receives the love open, totally open, totally ready to receive the love of Jesus Christ, the love of God. And in those eyes is a spirit of awe and wonder that is childlike. A spirit that is filled with whatever God wants to teach that little one. Footnote, that's what we're about here at Nativity School. To have the children be open to receive God's love through all the different studies that they do in a special way. Now, that little one, imagine where that little one ended up at the end of it. Where do you think he ended up, he or she? In Jesus' lap. That's where he ended, where she ended. In the lap of the Lord. Because there was no way that the love of God, the love of Christ coming to that little one was going to be held back. That little one was going to go flying into the love of Christ and sitting in his lap. So, first question is, and adults, who wants to sit in the lap of love? Who wants to sit in the lap of Jesus? So the little one's got it already. Who wants to sit in the love of Christ? We got some of your grandparents that aren't sure yet, so. <laughs> Raise your hands, everybody, and goes up. Who wants to be in the love of Christ? What a special moment. In fact, it's a two-hander. Who wants to be in the love of Christ? We all do. And then, what do you think Jesus did when he went flying into his lap? He hugged you. And so that's what we're going to do. He's hugging you right now. So it's a hug, guys and girls. It's a hug. Some of your grandparents aren't sure they want to be hugged. Come on. Let's be hugged. Let's be hugged. All of you. Let the love of Christ touch you and be with you and bless you in a very special way. In just a moment for we as adults. Jesus is saying to us, it really is that simple. It really is about the love of God. It really is about the love of Jesus Christ in our lives. It really is about Him touching us, even when we fail, even when we've messed up. And most of us have had a history of some sort as adults. The gift of the little ones is they don't have a long history. All they have is a wondrous love, being loved by you, the grandparents and the parents and the guardians and the teachers and their classmates. And so that's part of the call that Jesus Christ gives us today in the Gospel of Matthew. He wants us to be in love with Him. And He wants us to know that He's in love with us. And that His love is meant to carry us through life completely. And that we're called to be those that little child in front of Him with a sparkly eyes of love, receiving God's love, open to God's love, and letting God's love draw them to Him. And, yes, adults, spend some time in Jesus' lap. Because your little ones are. They love it. What a wonderful place to be. 
surrounded by God's love and hugged by the Lord Jesus in a way that says, I love you, and no matter what's happened, I love you. Let's do one more hug with Jesus. Come on. One more. Oh. Hug tight. Hug tight. Hug tight. He loves us. He loves us. He loves us. Amen.